So this summer has been sweltering like yes. the last couple oh days gosh. so hot and the so extreme hot. heat means it's really important to stay hydrated mm -hmm. and keep an eye on your electrolytes, especially when you're playing outdoors. Yeah, so here are some great tips on how to stay healthy in our heat <laughs> is a registered dietitian, mm -hmm. Courtney Kang from the little clinic at Keen Supers. Hello. It Good is morning. hot. Oh my, my god, gosh. we've been hitting hundreds this week. Yes, crazy. It's increasingly hot. So when we talk about staying hydrated, you know, our first um, line of defense, I suppose, is water always. So mm -hmm. when we talk about um, two hours before activity outside, we always want to think two about... Two hours before? Yeah, an hour wow. and two hours before. Um, about 16 ounces of water at the very least. Then um, 15 minutes before, uh, about uh, six to eight ounces. So one of these little guys, or obviously you could use your own water bottle, just for yeah. show. And then uh, actually during activity is about uh, one of these every 15 minutes, 15 mm. to 20 minutes. So when we're talking about staying hydrated, making sure our our muscles and our brain still keep working while we're doing um, any physical activity outside. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and when it comes to these sports drinks, mm -hmm. I do have a lot of questions about these. Sure. Because my kids want to drink them, and I look at the sugars sometimes, and it's just out of control. What do we do? Yeah, so really if we're outside sweating a lot, we're losing electrolytes through that sweat, mm -hmm. that's when sports drinks can come into play. Okay. Um, they provide the, the sodium, the potassium, uh, some calcium in there too to help replenish those electrolytes that we're losing through sweat. But at the same time, you know, when, if we're just sitting around the house playing video games and not really doing physical activity, that's not the time for these because there are a lot of sugars yes. and carbohydrates. Mm, okay. But those are important. Sugars idea. and carbohydrates are really important if we're playing sports and being active. Okay. Um, out, especially outside. Yeah. That's good to know. So, is it possible to over drink this time of year? You know, it's possible to yes, overhydrate, or and then you get. Um, Sodium and all those important vitamins and minerals can sometimes be watered down or diluted, and we don't want that either. So um, making sure you know you're replacing the losses through sweat that you're having mm -hmm. without overhydrating too much. Okay. So we can get electrolytes through food too. So not oh, only really? this way, but you know sodium from things like pretzels and popcorn and other healthy things. Potassium that really helps with um, muscle contraction. Tomatoes, broccoli, cherries, sweet potatoes, um, things that you can take and pack with you. Uh, calcium sources to help those muscles keep working too. So nice. string cheese, I've got some examples down there of uh, healthy snacks that you can eat before and after um, exercise to help maintain your uh, electrolyte levels. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of these fruits and veggies are going to give you the hydration as well, right? Good point. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. There's so much water content in things like um, tomatoes and uh, kiwi, cherries. Oh, because Paula loves oh, those Rainier cherries. Rainier cherries. Yeah. Is it cherry favorite. season? Yeah. They are delicious. So, how many mm -hmm. Rainier cherries or regular cherries would you have to eat to, to replenish? About a cup, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's uh, maybe half a cup here, right? Yeah. So, potassium is one of those that um, is actually an, a new. A nutrient of concern for us still. So eating more fruits and vegetables on a regular basis. Um, even some dairy products have high potassium sources, like the Greek yogurt down there. Mm -hmm. I have some frozen berries mm -hmm. actually stirred right. into that. That makes a perfect um, post-game kind of recovery to cool down. Mm -hmm. um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich is a perfect snack to have even about 45 minutes before. You know, Seriously? One of those, mm -hmm. The good old PB and J? Mm -hmm. PB and J, yep. Wow, See, I always thought, you know, this is just a childhood favorite, no. but I didn't look at it as something good for you. Right. Yep. There's potassium in the peanut butter or almond butter. I have those really convenient packets of peanut butter and almond oh, butter right down there, here? too. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea to take on the go. And I'm glad you're telling us to do it before because my kids always wait until they're so dehydrated mm. to start drinking that yes. that's not a good idea. Right, and actually, that's the perfect sign that it's too late. Hydration right. is already set in. When you're feeling that thirst, come on. Good, yeah. good yeah. ideas. These packs mm -hmm. are so great to take on hikes. They too. are. They're love, perfect. love, love these guys. All and right. there's sodium in there as well. So things that can help uh, keep those muscles working Thank as well. Thank you, Courtney. Again. You're most welcome. Taking good care of us. And remember, Courtney and the other dietitians at the little clinic inside Select King Supers would love to help you. For more information about pricing and services for you, your family, even your business, just send them an email to dietitians at thelittleclinic.com and be sure to follow them on Instagram at superfoodies. Coming up on call.